The DCC's economic development team last week released what it's calling an investment prospectus for potential investors. The prospectus targets business people wanting to expand their businesses and expats thinking of returning to New Zealand. It also encourages high net worth individuals and investors from New Zealand and offshore to seek further information about opportunities in Dunedin. Council Business Development Advisor Chanel O'Brien joins us with the background. Good evening. Tell us about the idea and how it came about. Well, it's been a, an idea that's been a long time in gestation, actually. It uh, was first mooted a couple of years ago um, when various partners were talking through the development of the economic development strategy. And it was during those discussions that the idea of having an, a, an investment prospectus really came to pass. So it's been part of the whole working through of the development of that strategy. And now, because we're in implementation phase, we're starting to move on some of those projects. And that's really how it came to pass. Yes. And you're hoping to target investors. What does the prospectus provide for them? Well, it's a high-level fishing document. So in the first instance, what it's doing is providing an opportunity for people to really understand that Dunedin has um, a range of different uh, opportunities available. Um, so really it's just initially putting Dunedin on the map in terms of being on the menu of opportunities for investors. Uh, but it does dig into a few um, areas. So we're, what we're looking at particularly are areas where we can say we have particular strengths, particularly in the health and education sectors. So we've identified three key areas, uh, education and learning, uh, health technologies, and design technology and niche manufacturing. So we talk about various businesses that are in, within those sectors, but also the prospectus looks at uh, how, what investors might expect to find in terms of the business culture and the business community. They would also find information on vital statistics around the city, so things like um, our population base. They'll get information around things like um, uh, the level of education in the city and how people feel about living in the city and living and working here. Um, and they're also being given an opportunity to understand more around the regulatory environment that the city's trying to uh, promote. How will you get the document to the right people? Well, because we have a partnership now in play um, th through, through the work of the Economic Development Strategy, we'll be using the networks of, of our various partners. Um, most importantly, in some senses, our partnership with uh, New Zealand Trade and Enterprise, I think, will be key in getting this document out. So we'll be looking at um, getting it through to the various offshore offices and all of our target markets. Um, we're also just starting to engage with the university more to see whether or not there might be some opportunities to... Um, target some of the uh, about 90,000 alum that are out there and mm. of that proportion we suspect that there'll be a number that will be in that market of the high net worth individuals, expats and those that may be wanting to look at business opportunities in Dunedin. Mm. That was going to be the next question. What kind of opportunities are you hoping to attract? Well, it's, it's, um, it's a real match. It's a bit of a, match, a matching sort of situation really. Um, as I say, it's a fishing document. Mm. Um, but having said that, already today I've fielded three phone calls already from investors outside of the city um, who are just interested in, in you know, what Dunedin is doing and are actually in fact quite um, enthused by the fact that the council's actually done this. It seems to be a, um, quite, a, quite an un unusual thing for councils to be doing is actually going and actively seeking investment into the city. Mm. So uh, we're prepared to talk to anybody, of course, um, and seeing what the opportunities are, but they really do need to be a match for what we have available in the city. Mm. So ultimately those investors that are looking at long-term objectives, um, those that are looking, as I say, within the areas of, of education and learning, particularly in the online space, uh, health technologies, which of course take um, a lot of time and money to develop over a period of, of years, uh, and uh, design technology and niche manufacturing, where there's some real strengths. From the DCC, Chanel O'Brien, thanks so much for your time.